telemedicine over the last several years, I think many of us thought, yeah, this is going to be a big part of the future of medicine. And then COVID came along and it just accelerated that. And specifically, as we, because of the highly uh, infectious nature of COVID, many of us transitioned from traditional uh, visits to televisits. And so um, I feel blessed because I was a little bit ahead of the curve and it was pretty seamless, but uh, it's so important, again, if you're going to have to do that so quickly to have resources like a telemedicine echo, again, to learn from experts um, and to get practical tips. So there's just, uh, I could go on and on about, you know, how important uh, telemedicine echoes. And again, the, how it differs from other telemedicine resources is you're learning in real time and interacting in real time with subject matter experts. Telemedicine is here to stay well beyond COVID. It's going to continue, I think, to expand. And as we talk about, it's we've we've it's forced us the the crisis of COVID has forced us to uh, think outside the boundaries, so to speak. And I I think that's that's one of the maybe the few things good about COVID. But we we have to uh, stay agile and and flexible. And yes, I think. Every physician, every healthcare provider, every anybody that has anything to do with providing healthcare uh, has to be tuned in. Obviously, adapters going to be greater and lesser adapters, but if we're going to do this, we need to do it in the best possible way. And and I think, you know, the um, echoes and other telehealth resources through the echoes, uh, it's just so important to stay on top of what best practice is. This video was made possible by the Heartland Telehealth Resource Center through grant CTRC-GA5RH37462 from the Office for the Advancement of Telehealth, Federal Office of Rural Health Policy, Health Resources and Services Administration, and Department of Health and Human Services.